the blog on uh, doing fixing these welders. This is an art welder. The next ones will be MIG. So I just want to do a video on how they work. On off switch, obviously. This ain't plugged in, so it's safe. You turn it to the left, it increases the amperage. And there's your electro connector and your earth clamp connector. So if you open them up, just got screws around each side. This one's got one, two, three, four, five on each side. I've left them two in, mainly because this one won't come out, but still works well. Just pulled back. So if you have a look here, you've got your main switch, which is a double pole switch. It switches both the live and the neutrals comes down here into the primary winding and it comes out of the primary winding through this thermal cutout so that could be a problem and back into the switch that's your primary side that creates an alternating current which conducts electricity or induces electricity in this side of the transformer obviously this is a thicker wire this side and thin of this side, so that means it's a step down transformer. So it loses voltage but it increases the current. So obviously, the current it creates is between 40 and 140 amps. So the current comes, well, the current's created in here, and obviously, it will circle between there and there when you're welding. So you just connect your earth electrode here, and your electrode gun this side, your earth clamp this side. And that is it basically. This goes in and out and it interact and it affects the way the magnetism and the induction between these two coils. So by closing it off or opening it up, you're affecting how much current this side produces. And that is it really. So next I'll do a video on how to test them. There ain't much to these, so there's nothing really that goes wrong on them. Either the coil split, the wiring splits, the connections fail, the switch fails, thermal cutout can go, or just bad connections all round.